Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us. Tonight at 6, a youth football coach has been arrested in Manatee County after the sheriff's office says he appears to have been dealing drugs. 29-year-old Edgar Thyler has been charged with the felony count of possession with intent to sell marijuana. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us live in Bradenton tonight. And Adam, how is the team handling the news of their coach's arrest? Yeah, well, Scott and Jacqueline, uh, this came as a huge shock to the team. We spoke <clears throat> with a, uh, a woman who is a spokeswoman for the New Manatee Broncos Youth Football <clears throat> excuse me, organization, and uh, she tells us that they are aware of the situation. Parents, for the most part, have been understanding. In fact, anyone who heard about this just can't imagine someone they trusted their kids around uh, could be capable of this. Manatee County Sheriff's detectives were surveilling high drug areas Thursday night when they spotted a car with tinted windows rolling through a turn at a red light. Inside was 29-year-old Edgar Thyler with youth football jerseys and 71 grams of marijuana. We ended up finding quite a bit of marijuana, cash, and a loaded firearm. Detectives say the drugs were individually packaged for sale. And Thyler, who told investigators he was on his way to meet his peewee team, the New Manatee Broncos, was charged with a felony instead. He had a bunch of uniforms that apparently were going to be distributed to the team, so he had somebody else come and pick those up while we were there. It wasn't long ago Thyler wore a uniform for Manatee High School, graduating as a star football and basketball player in 2007. Another youth coach who works with Thyler told us in a phone call he was shocked and that Thyler is the type to always put his young players first. It's disappointing because again a lot of kids in this area look up to Edgar. He's been around in this area. He's was a star football player in high school. Now he's giving back and coaching the kids. Not anymore, says a representative of the new Manatee Broncos, who declined an interview but told us Thyler has been removed from the program and the parents have been notified. She adds that this is something that happened in his personal life away from the kids and the group is moving forward at this time. Now that same spokeswoman says at this time it's unclear if this ban will be for good for Thyler. That's a, a conversation she wants to have with the other leadership in the New Manatee Broncos organization. Reporting live in Manatee County, I'm Adam Cellini. Scott and Jacqueline, back to you.